got there. Uh, I got one of those laser. You know the laser lights for the the, the mm -hmm. cats like. Apparently dogs like it as well. Because I got one recently in a pet store and I brought it home. And I was doing it on the floor in the kitchen and the living room. And my dog was like going crazy mm -hmm. for it. I like to go to presentations and do that to the speaker. It's kind of fun. If you haven't done it, try it out. Yeah, <laughs> or invite Bob to one of your presentations. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fun having him in the audience. Yeah. Um, the, the thing, the reason I mention the laser light is it reminds me sometimes of when I'm watching salespeople in action, and Bob and I, in our working lives, we get to see a lot of salespeople in action. Little fly on the wall kind of things where we see them you know, ask questions and present. One of the things I see quite often, and we both probably agree on this, is yes. They'll, uh, you know, I'm going to say it. You agree though? Uh, you do agree? Yeah, yeah, you do agree. Yeah. <laughs> it's good like that. One of the things we on. see a lot is they'll ask a great question and uh, the prospect will answer it and then they'll jump to another mm -hmm. great question that doesn't really follow a logical questioning flow. They'll just mm -hmm. jump from one good question to another without drilling down, yeah. without mm -hmm. digging in. It's not a conversation, it's more of uh, an interrogation, something you're rather familiar with, aren't you? Not as familiar as you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is, you paid your price to society. You so looked a lot you? better on cops than oh, I did. That's true. Next time I'm going to leave the house later without my shirt. <laughs> It's nice. Why do they always not have a shirt on? That just they don't wear it. shirts on cops. They just <laughs> don't. But anyway, not. we wear shirts on this show, yeah. so this is this is good. This video yeah. is uh, we, 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 we don't no pants, yeah, we but we're no wearing pants, shirts, yeah. and that's yeah. that's what's important. Let me demonstrate the drill down and see if um, see if you can use this process mm -hmm. or this tool. So, um, oh, how did you get started in the business? You know, interesting, Stu. Uh, I we'll was, be the judge of that. Yeah, we'll right. Um, I was uh, with Alamo Renicar for many years, actually a little over 12 years, and we had a company come in that was doing some work with us, and I took an interest in it. And uh, a little, uh, very soon thereafter, I joined this company that does this type of work, and so that's kind of how I get into it. What is it about this type of work that you like? Well, I like helping people, and that's kind of what I enjoy doing in my old job. And this allowed me to help even more people and be laser focused on that. And how do you think? Um, how do you think we help them? Mm -hmm. I think we help them by uh, providing them very practical and tactical skills that they can put into play uh, really easily. Uh, and when they do that, they actually are making progress. They're seeing success, you know, helping them do the little things they know t they need to do. So give us more of a sense of practical, tactical things, kind of things that we teach. Well, you know, uh, working with this, I'll just see this one insurance agent that we're working with who uh, had to do more outbound calls. And so he was just struggling. And when he did make the calls, he was having very little impact uh, or getting very uh, poor results. So we put together some very simple scripts. We practiced them. And instead of saying, hey, you know, uh, I want you to make 100 phone calls tomorrow, we said, can you make 10 using the script? And so he agreed. He says, yeah, I can, I can do 10 for you. So later on in the day, we, we checked in and he uh, apologized. He says, you know, I am so sorry. I didn't have a chance to do those 10 calls. He says, it's because the first five people I spoke to ended up buying insurance from me. So I think it's a great example of how, you know, we can help people do the right things by just helping them with the simple things, getting them going and putting them into action. Nice. And we are good at simple things. Yeah. <laughs> you especially. We are yeah. especially good. <laughs> that scar from things. the lobotomy is just You can't see it, can you? It's fading out. It's fading yeah, out. LA's got those great plastic surgeons. I'd rather have a, a frontal lobotomy than a bottle in front of me. <laughs> no, it's the other way around. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's, the, yeah. Uh, that's the drill down process. So all you're doing is you're trying to... Trying to not think about anything, mm -hmm. which is hard for us. It's easy for Bob. <laughs> but it's hard... For most of us to not think about anything. When your client's talking, what you're now trying to do is listen for one word, create a new question, and go with that question. Okay, so we got to help them. What should we ask them to do right now? Listen. Mm -hmm. Listen. Ask a great question. Obviously, we'll leave that to you. But ask a great question. Listen for one word that you can form a new question, which will be a logical flow, and your prospect is going to feel as though he's really being listened mm -hmm. to. And I think you're going to find better results. So listen. Get that one word. Form a new question practice. Yeah. And I, I might even challenge you to think about your very next appointment. Write down a few good questions uh, and just be deliberate about listening, slowing things down a little bit, giving your client some time to think about that answer and you'll be even more conscious about it. If you have some great results from that, we'd love to hear from you. Send us an email. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you.